ขอสักสักสักโอ้พลีสพี่ยังไงพี่ยังไงพี่ยังไงพี่ยังไงพี่ยังไงพี่ยังไงพี่ยังไงพี่ยังไงพี่ยังไงพี่ยังไงพี่ยังไงพี่ยังไงพี่ You do not have to say but my army defense. You do not mind to question something which you later rely on. Cordes, you do say maybe given the evidence. Yes, people, a callous and calculating heroin user who murdered three people as well as raping his final victim over a six-day period has been given a whole life order. Anthony Russell previously pleaded guilty to the murders of Julie Williams, 58, and her son David Williams, 32, who he attacked at separate flats in Coventry. He also admitted 31-year-old Nicole McGregor, whose body was found in Woodland near Leamington Spa. She was five months pregnant when she was found, with a jury finding him guilty of raping her on Thursday after a retrial at Warwick Crown Court. Russell was not present for his sentencing today. The court heard how he refused to board a van from prison. It resulted in a situation of danger for the prison officers and the attempt to transport him to court was aborted, the court was told. The judge, Mr Justice Wall, said he will continue the sentencing in Russell's absence rather than adjourn the proceedings. The judge said guidelines on whole life orders required that the sentence should be reserved for exceptionally serious cases in which they were required as a just punishment. He told Russell in his absence none of these crimes were random or motiveless. I have no doubt this is a case which falls fairly and squarely within the description of being exceptionally serious. There were three murders, each was separated in time and location. Each was the result of separate murderous act, which was sustained and brutal. Each involved the use of very significant violence. Ruling that Russell was exceptionally dangerous and manipulative, the judge added, this is one of those cases deserving of a whole life order. You will remain in custody for the rest of your life and you will never be eligible to apply for parole for your release. The 39-year-old defendant of Riley Square, Coventry, assaulted Miss McGregor hours after she showed him a picture of her baby scan. Mr Williams was killed on October 21st, 2020 and his mum, Mrs Williams, on October 25th. Miss McGregor was killed on October 26th. Russell had also told the latter's partner and expectant father to her child, I bet you can't wait for it to be born in the hours after she disappeared, knowing he had raped and killed her. The killer strangled Miss Williams with a lanyard and left the body under his bed where it was found by police five days later covered in 87 injuries. Afterwards, Russell claimed he had killed a man who had sex with his girlfriend. Russell strangled Miss Williams' mother in a violent and sustained attack in which she was hit five times on the head and neck, prosecutors said. She had 113 separate injuries and is believed to have been killed because she found out Mr Russell had murdered her son. CCTV footage of Miss McGregor, who lived in a flat in Leamington Spa, was played to the jury during a trial, which showed her walking alongside Russell at 7.45 on October 26. During her opening speech, prosecutor Zoe Johnson QC said, This is the last time Nicole was seen alive. Just three hours after meeting the defendant, it appears that Nicole has agreed to walk with the defendant into new bold coming. We suggest the defendant lured Nicole onto the common, not for sex, but for drugs. The defendant murdered Nicole McGregor shortly after that image was captured, just hours after they had met. After the murder, he pretended to help Miss McGregor's partner look for her. The killer was eventually subject to a national manhunt and fled Leamington Spa, robbing a 78-year-old man of his car. Russell rung the pensioner's doorbell asking for directions and when the victim was distracted, he hit him over the head from behind with a brick, leaving him with a fractured skull and a, breed and a bleed on the brain. The killer was arrested on October the 30th after police spotted a stolen Ford C-Max on a road near Burton-upon-Trent in Staffordshire. The armed officers found Russell asleep on the back seat. While being booked into custody, he told the officers, I admit it, I did it. Mad one there, people. Rest in peace to the victims anyway, though. Say so definitely deserves the whole life harder. But yo, like, comment, subscribe. Check back for more, yeah? Peace.